gorgeous, majestic, powerful, and absolutely terrifying. If you're an animal trying to survive in the rainforest, you better steer clear of this royal raptor. This is the killer witch of the jungle, the Harpy Eagle. Hi, my name is Aranya Iyer, and you're watching Animal Logic's World of Birds. The Harpy Eagle is a fierce raptor in the genus Harpeal. It's so unique, it's the only species in this genus. Thanks to Pila for sponsoring this episode. If you don't know Pila, they're a Canadian company with one mission, to create a future without waste. That all starts with the Pila case. Over 1 million people have made the switch to Pila cases, and it's easy to see why. There are dozens of cute designs to choose from, they're MagSafe compatible, have military drop protection, and they're made from plants. That's right, the case is fully compostable. So if you ever get a new phone, your case will break down in your backyard or industrial compost, but it won't break down in your pocket. The case is super soft and grippy. We love helping the environment, so naturally, we're big fans of Pila. If you want to get your own Pila case, head to links.pila.earth/animallogic and use code animallogic at checkout or click on the link in the description below. It's 40% off for the first 100 subscribers and 25% off for everyone after that. Thanks Pila. The crested eagle and the Papuan eagle are its closest relatives but they don't have quite the same pizzazz or power as the harpy. The harpy eagle can be found in Central and South America, from Mexico to Argentina, but its range is fragmented, and harpies are very rare, even in Brazil, where they're most common. The harpy eagle likes to live in the upper canopy layers of tropical jungles, but when it's time to hunt, it will travel to open plains and less dense forests. The harpy eagle is an important symbol in many Latin American cultures. For example, it's the national bird in Panama. And in Brazil, many indigenous cultures believe the harpy eagle to be a personification of former chiefs. Needless to say, the harpy eagle demands our admiration and respect. The bird got its English name from the ancient Greek harpy. This mythological creature was the personification of storm winds and was described as a hideous half-human, half-bird with long claws perfected for snatching away evildoers. The eagle version of the harpy is hardly hideous, but it is huge. In fact, it's one of the largest eagles in the world. And the long snatching claws thing is bang on too. The harpy eagle's talons can be up to 10 centimeters long, the largest of any eagle species. It's actually about the size of a grizzly bear's claw. So who do you think would win in a showdown? Maybe that's a question for another episode. But what we do know is that harpies wouldn't compete in the heavyweight division. They weigh a modest six to nine kilograms, but despite their nimbleness, they can stand up to more than a meter tall, about the height of a preschooler. Like most raptors, females are bigger than the males. The eagle's wingspan can reach up to 2.3 meters, and its legs are the size of human arms. You can tell these guys apart from other birds at a distance. Their gray heads, white undersides, and black back and wings are iconic. But the eagle's trademark feature is its crown of long feathers. A harpy can manually raise the feathery crown when it feels threatened. So maybe head in the other direction if that happens. Their crown is the reason Brazilians refer to the harpy eagle as Gavio Real, or Royal Hawk. The crown gives the eagle a rather majestic, powerful appearance, which is probably why the Harry Potter filmmakers used it as inspiration for Fox, Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Unfortunately, unlike Fox, the harpy eagle isn't immortal. In the wild, it can only live up to about 30 years. Also unlike Fox, it can't light itself on fire. Well, as far as we know. It's not just the eagle's size and terrifying talons that make this raptor a force to be reckoned with. There's also its eyesight, which is eight times more powerful than a human's. Harpy eagles can spot a mouse from over 200 meters away. 
They've also got a great sense of hearing, which makes up for their embarrassing sense of smell. Although harpy eagles can communicate with each other through whistles, clicks, and croaks, they try their best to hunt in total, terrifying silence. When flying, these birds can reach up to 80 kilometers per hour, but only in short spurts. Their real talent is sharply steering around trees with help from their long tail feathers. All of this adds up to a skilled hunter at the very top of the rainforest food chain, an apex predator. The harpy eagle has a couple different approaches to hunting. She may remain perched in the same place for up to a day, patiently waiting for prey to show its face. Other times, she'll jump from branch to branch, using her sharp eyesight to scour the jungle for food. When a delicious victim finally shows up, the eagle attacks in a lightning-fast motion. Their long, sharp talons snatch its prey before it even has a chance to realize what hit it. The eagle kills quickly by exerting over a hundred kilos of pressure, totally crushing its victim's bones. If their snack is too heavy to carry back to their nest, they'll gobble some of it up before flying home. The harpy eagle can feed on its kill for several days without getting sick from the rotting carcass. It can go a whole week without having to hunt down new prey. I could take a few meal prep pointers from this queen. Their speed and power allow them to catch basically anything they want. Their go-to meals include spider monkeys, howler monkeys, capuchins, iguanas, small deer, and sloths. A lot of sloths. Sorry, Sid. The harpy eagle is a sloth's main predator. Poor guys, they really don't stand a chance. At least monkeys are fast and have other monkey friends that can gang up on them to try and prevent the eagle from snatching their buddy. But sloths are sedentary and solitary. A perfect jungle snack, if you're into scrawny, algae-laden, parasite-infested snacks. But who isn't, right? Even though it's sad to think about cute little sloths being crushed to death and devoured, the harpy eagle's diet can have a positive impact on rainforest regeneration and bringing a balance to their ecosystem. By dining on animals that mostly consume vegetation, harpies help limit the impact that herbivores have on the rainforest. Conservation kings and queens. Although these eagles are ruthless in war, they're loyal in love. They mate for life, and couples have been spotted affectionately chirping at each other and rubbing their bills together. They split bird duties too, including hunting and working on their one and a half meter nest, where the female will lay two eggs. But life is tough from the beginning, and they'll only raise the stronger of the two chicks. In fact, if two chicks end up hatching, mom and dad will usually leave the second one to starve. Not really advice you would find in a parenting book today. The newborn chick that survives will get its full coloring at around three years of age. The chick will be raised and fed by mom and dad for the first 10 months, but even after it can fend for itself, it may choose to live near its home nest for a long time. Because harpy chicks take so long to rear, Mum will only lay eggs every two to three years. Due to humans destroying rainforests through practices like mining and monoculture farming, which lead to massive deforestation, the harpy eagle is now a threatened species. Some think there are only 50,000 left in the world. The harpy eagle's continued existence is important. The bird is considered an umbrella species, meaning that conserving this species and its habitat automatically helps in saving so many other animals and plants. At the very least, we can do our part by advocating for this species and its habitat. So what should we talk about next? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Keep soaring to new heights. Thanks for watching.